Hey Libra, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. This is your first time checking out Sheila Divine's channel. What is up? I am Amy. If you're returning back to my channel, welcome. If you're new, welcome. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get started. So definitely a great message to say the least for you guys. Lots of things happening. So let's just dig into this. So two, I did two beginning messages for you guys. So I picked so we have the loneliness card. So it says, I know that I am never alone. I feel like, you know what? Some of you could be feeling really alone in February. Some of you could be feeling, you know, because that you, you don't have a relationship, that there's something wrong with you. But I feel like the overall message there is like, don't, don't be so hard on yourself in the first half of February, Libra. All right. Like just because you're not in a relationship does not mean there's anything wrong with you. I feel like your time is coming. I'm telling you right now from that lonely card, do not be upset in February. You guys have lots of love coming in. I, I guarantee you that. Um, and the relationship card is here too. It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So you may start off February where, again, you're feeling unworthy. You feel like no one's going to love you. You're down and out. You're like, oh my God, like, all my friends, all my family are in relationships. And here I am. I'm going to be single for Valentine's Day. Mm -mm, I don't think so. I feel like there's love coming in for you guys for sure. But I feel like what is happening is that you have to not look for it. Let it come to you, Libra, okay? Um, go within yourself for the first half of um, February and let love come to you. Do not go searching for love. Sit your ass down. Let it come to you. Okay. When you feel lonely, go for a walk. When you feel lonely, watch Netflix. When you go, when you feel lonely, um, have a bath, go to the spa, take yourself on a date. Don't go looking for love. Let it come to you because there's a relationship blooming. All right. Into your reading. Oh no, wait. So I pulled some angel cards. So we have let go which is interesting because let go is coming up a lot for you guys. So there could be something in your, you know, life right now, a person, maybe you're holding on to someone that you know that you're better off letting go Libra. And that's why the let go card, if you want love to come in in February, let go of someone that's no longer serving you, let go of someone that's no longer giving you what you need, because you will be successful when it comes to it. You will have that new relationship come through, but you need to let go of something else in order to open that, um, open that doorway. Because right now there's a door for a relationship that's closed. But if you were to let go of another situation, another person, I feel like that other, that new door will open and then that relationship can come forward. That makes sense. You know what I mean? Okay. Because some of you are blocking love from coming in because you're, I don't know, maybe you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid that this new person that's coming in is going to hurt you from the last person, but you can't do that. You can't bring that negativity that toxic energy into your current connection or into a current connection because it's just going to ruin it. So rethink your thought process in February. Okay. Now let's get into your reading Libra. All right. So the hermit card is coming up as your first card. This just automatically tells me that Libra needs to take a time out. Libra needs to take some time for themselves. She needs to find the light within you. You need to take a first step, first step on letting someone go. Um, finding your way pretty much taking a break, take a break from life, take a break from, you know, the, the pain and, and the hurt and, you know, have some reflection time, really go within, really take some time for you because you at the end of the day have to be your own best friend. You have to be comfortable in who you are. And if you're not, then you need to start taking care of yourself more Libra. All right. Because right now, some of you, when this new love does come or tries to come, you're going to be very like protective mode. You're not going to want to give out your heart. You're going to be too afraid and spirits kind of coming through and saying, well, like, Right now with the seven of wands, you can have a choice to stand there and block this new connection from coming in and sit there and tell yourself that I'm too afraid to open my heart. I'm too afraid to let someone in. But if you don't do that, then love can't come towards you. This new connection, this new opportunity will not come towards you, Libra, unless you give up this and realize that not everyone is out here to hurt you. Not everyone has that intention. You attract what you are. So you need to start really going within yourself and manifesting what it is that you need right now in your life in order to bring that towards you. That's why I said so much needed healing time is needed. The hangman talks about letting go. It talks about surrendering, healing, to finding, not really finding a balance, but I do feel like balance is definitely a word for Libra. You know, you are tied, you are bound to someone. And I feel like 
until you let go of that previously connect previous connection, till you let go of what you guys have been holding on to, you will not get that relationship that's right there. And I literally feel like it's a knock at the door. Like someone, I don't really necessarily think that someone's actually going to knock on your door, but I feel like it's in this place that if you were just to say to yourself, you know, this connection's not working any longer. It's not serving me. It's not of my highest good. It's not doing anything for me. It's not doing me justice. Holding on to it is keeping me from, you know, growing. It's keeping me from evolving. If I was just to let go of it, something better is going to come through. And I'm telling you, if it takes you six months, if it takes you six years, whatever the case is, if you start opening up your chakras, if you start opening up that energy, you will attract what is for you. You will attract something of higher vibration. So it's like, let go of what you need to let go, Libra, in order to let this new love come in. Stop blocking your blessings because you're afraid. You know, everyone gets, everyone goes through broken heart. I've gone through so much broken heart. But I also know that if I didn't go through those lessons I needed, if I didn't go through that heartache, if I didn't go through those shitty relationships, you know, I wouldn't have found someone now that I look at him and I'm like, man, now I understand why I never worked out with anyone else. Like now I understand why I had to go through what I had to go through. You know, and I can honestly say that, like, I was single for a year up until January, and if if I didn't go through what I went through, I would not know 100% what I wanted, you know, and I manifested that out to the universe for months and months and months, you know, and I just kept getting really, I don't know, I want to call it dead weight, because I kept, well, dead fish, because I literally felt like I was just fishing and fishing and fishing and, and just catching dead fish, and it was like, finally, I just one more time, I, I put myself back out there and I was like, you know, a universe, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for commitments. And it was like, you know, I caught something that I think it, well, I think, you know, it is not dead fish. I can only hold my fingers are crossed. I'm manifesting good things. But that's what I'm feeling for you guys. It's like, you know what, if you just let your walls down a little bit and realize that this person coming towards you is coming towards you with pure intentions, they're coming towards you with great intentions. If you unleash what you need to unleash, this opportunity will kick off. And you will you will see what I'm talking about. But you got to go within. Got to go within. All right? You got to move through. You got to walk towards something better. Because right now you're staying guard and you're not moving. You're confident. You're kind of like in this energy with the Page of Swords where you're like, I'm going to stay here with my sword. And I'm confident and I know who I am. But are you? Are you confident in who you are? Are you confident in what you want? If that other, I want to ask you guys this. If that other person that you disconnected from that you previously have left if that person was coming back and banging on that door and wanting a second chance, would you give that person another chance? Because I feel like some of you would be like, you know what? No, I'm going to know. But there's others of you that would give this person another opportunity. But it's like, why would you give that person another opportunity when you know that they aren't for you? And that's why I feel like you need to go within. You need to do a lot of healing. You need to do a lot of personal, you know, self-healing. Because there's someone who does want to make you an offer. But I feel like what's happening is that this person's waiting for the waiting for the right moment. And I feel like they're being divinely pushed. But I need you to know that with the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, or Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, that you are also being divinely guided right now. You are not alone in this. I feel like your angels are with you, guiding you through this. So call upon your angels. You know, you have a choice. You have a direction that you need to choose. You could even have two offers to you can have the past coming to knock back on that door or you have the current, but you've got to ask yourself what you want. And you have to take that first step at, at the end of the day. I can tell you what you should do. Your parents could tell you, your friends could tell you, but if it's not something that you are a hundred percent sure on, you need to go within. But I, I feel like what these cards are saying with the three of wands is that it's time to look ahead. It's time to, you know, turn on, turn your back on things that are no longer serving you, Libra. Keep moving forward because I feel like there's way more ahead 
for you than there was that you're leaving behind. You're going to have plenty of reasons to smile with the Nine of Cups. You have offers coming through. It may not make sense to you right now, with the, but it will with the Eight of Swords. Because this is answers. This is truth. This is clarity coming in. So you might be thinking, man, Amy, I don't know what to do. I've got some decisions I make. i got some choices to make. I don't know if I'm going left. I don't know if I'm going right. I've got one great guy here who I want to give him a chance because he's new and that connection's new and it's a honeymoon stage. And, you know, the sex is all, like, off amazing. I don't know. And then, you know, but you've got this other person who's coming to knock on the door and, and they want a second chance too. You know, that's why you guys have to go into the inner healing meal. But I don't know. I keep just hearing letting go because we have temperance. So this is balance, you know, healing, letting go. New beginnings, star card, hope, abundance. I feel like, I feel like you're lighting the way for other people. So I feel like you're getting to this place where you're, you know, you're vibrating at a higher level for some reason and you're attracting people who are vibrating at the same level. That's what I feel like if you were disconnect from this past person, this past connection, you're going to vibrate. You're going to up like you're going to up level yourself for most of you. And when you up level, you attract those types of people into you. you no. Know? So it's like you attract what you are right now. So you know, the only other way I can explain that is, you know, if you're constantly getting like fuck boys coming around you and it's because that's what you're putting out to the universe, you know, if you just up yourself, up level yourself and say, you know what, I'm ready for an honest, committed relationship, you will attract someone with the same intentions because not only do we have the two of cups, but we have the lover's card to end your reading. So this right here just tells me that, you know what, this is a twin flame situation. This is a soulmate situation. This is two people coming together. This is some amazing sex. You know, the water is calm. It's collected. These two people have respect for each other. You know, they value each other. They want to do the nasty, like, like the, the sexual connection is just like, it's passionate, right? So it's like being in this place where it's like, there's two people that are just so into each other for in February for Libra. Like you're going to meet someone. This is, this is what I feel Libra. It's like, you're going to meet someone and the connection is going to be like, just bam, you know, it's going to be a connection that you just haven't felt before, but it's just like, bam, like, I don't know. I just keep hearing a lot of sex. So don't know who that's for, but all right. So your Oracle card says, go with the flow, let things happen. The magic of the universe knows what you desire and wants to deliver the best outcome for you. So let go, step aside and accept help from others. Sometimes people become used to resistance and struggle. Everyone accepts this as part of how life is supposed to be. When you relax, go with the flow and let go of the situation. You will see how amazing the results will be. It will be more favorable than you anticipated. Let everything, let everything go that's not serving you. Because there's amazing, great, fun, sexual, love, commitment. If you want it, it's there. But you got to take that chance, Libra. All right? So that is what I have for you guys for February 1st and 16th. Hope it resonates. You guys take care of yourself. And I will see you guys again second half of February.